It happened many years ago, on one of my Maltese holidays. I couldn't know that it would become an unforgettable place to me. It proved to be the place where a long-lasting friendship was established. Considering that the source of it was a tiny, humble piece of butter makes it even more unbelievable. One evening, having checked all possibilities of local eateries, my English partner and I opted for a typical Maltese restaurant. On entering, the smiling waiter escorted us to a table where another couple was already seated. Like one does, smiles and greetings in English were exchanged. The menus arrived and the drinks orders were taken. Thinking of our good intentions of keeping the experience local, both couples <coughs> opted for Maltese red wine and a starter. The menu recommended rabbit as a typical local dish, and so rabbit it was going to be. Smoking, drinking, smiling politely, and waiting for the good things to come. The first zips of wine loosened the tongue and took some of the I don't know you feeling away. With the first sentence uttered from our table mates, I realized English was certainly not their mother lingo, which was confirmed when talking to each other. As I like people at least to give it a try, I, don't, I didn't volunteer to come out as being German myself. So they labored on. This was until the waiter arrived with a bread and butter basket. And my word, what a surprise was that. Lying there, wrapped in silver paper, with big letters written on it, was Oldenburger Butter. I could not believe my eyes. On Malta, butter from Oldenburg in Germany, a city in the north of Germany, where I took my education, got married, had my daughter, before I divorced and moved on to various European countries. My sister and mum were still living there. The cry of excitement naturally came out in my mother tongue, and to the great delight of our table neighbours, they realised that they could now speak German to us and that we all knew Oldenburg very well. Needless to say, we spent most of our holiday together that year and many more visits to our restaurant. Our friendship grew already stronger and stronger during these few weeks. We got on like a house on fire. On departure of the island, promises, like one does, and which are mostly short-lived, of visiting, writing, phoning, etc., were exchanged. Unlike many friendships made on holiday, the bond spiraled into a second time round wedding. Why choose the Maldives, Barbados or Kenya to get married when you can have downtown devices in Wiltshire? I arranged all paperwork for a wedding, translated the speech for the registrar into German, secretly drummed up all Germans living in and around devices, for a surprise wedding party. The bride wore my hat, my pearls, my scarf. So much for something old, something borrowed. And it was a smashing talk of the town wedding. The children only got the message after the ceremony had taken place. But the news was well received and after celebrations followed in Germany. I'm, I'm very glad to say that the strong Oldenburger friendship survived nearly 10 years and long may it last. <laughs>